The main agri-naturals um, that we have in Avino are corridor oatmeal uh, for uh, skin moisturization, but also for the relief of dry and itchy skin. Soy, total soy, uh, for uh, even skin tone and texture. Fever few for um, uh, calming and soothing. Active naturals are sourced um, out of a very vast uh, screening process, very similar to the pharmaceutical discovery process. And um, they are sourced from multiple places around the world and undergo a um, lot of testing and uh, characterization, validation through clinical studies before the, the products are, are released. To, to get to a new active naturals, we start with hundreds or thousands of different extracts. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, we put them through um, many tests um, in vitro before we eventually um, bring them into a product. So, but it, it goes through a, a process of uh, testing, uh, characterizing uh, the extracts both chemically and biologically, also um, testing for safety, uh, for its clinical efficacy, getting to the right formulation uh, so that it, um, the active naturals are, are stable um, and they, uh, you can also deliver them to, to the skin. At the moment in Australia, uh, we have uh, the colloidal oatmeal, the soy, the fever few. Uh, globally, we have recently launched other active naturals such as uh, mushroom, shiitake mushroom, uh, but also the thousand wood extract, um, and also some uh, blackberry and dill extracts uh, for anti aging. Total soy complex is a blend, uh, a natural blend of, uh, of components from, from the soy. So we are, in contrast to other soy ingredients that are found in skincare products, um, they do some generally uh, denatured soy, uh, meaning that they have undergone some treatment, uh, breaking down certain of its components, like the proteins, and making them inactive. Total soy complex is a non-denatured soy uh, where uh, the proteins are still active. And this is really important for uh, total soy complex in our uh, positively radiant uh, products because it's uh, how we can deliver um, uh, the benefit of soy uh, for uh, an even skin tone. The, the primary benefit of uh, total soy complex is uh, on uh, the evening of the skin tone and the way it works is by um, blocking a mechanism that um, transport basically the pigment uh, in the skin from where it's produced to where it's uh, stored and uh, particularly in the uh, cases where you have either brown spots or you have uh, an uneven skin tone where you have more pigmentation in certain areas and, uh, rather than others. And this is um, the soy helped normalize uh, the pigmentation and uh, even out the, uh, the skin tone. Now, um, soy has other uh, properties and other benefits coming from the other components of, uh, of soy, such as the, uh, the oils in the soy or the, the vitamins like the vitamin E uh, that can also be a, a soothing uh, component. Uh, there are also some sugars uh, that are uh, providing some moisture to, uh, to the skin. Few of you is a, a small plant, small flowering plant, the same family as the, the daisy or the chamomile. Um, it's found in uh, all over Europe, uh, but also in, uh, in North America and other parts of the world. Um, it has been used for, for centuries for its uh, uh, medicinal properties, particularly for uh, against migraine and, and fever. Um, and this, um, these properties were um, coming from a particular component of a few, as it was discovered in the last uh, 20 years. 
um, know that component is um, sensitizing, uh, so it, it can cause allergies, skin allergies. So um, in this case, we actually went into uh, removing this component from, from the fever few. And uh, after a long characterization of the extract, we identified some other components in, in the fever few extract that were uh, providing benefits to the skin, particularly some uh, uh, skin calming, skin soothing, um, also some uh, antioxidant uh, properties. Fear few is suitable to, uh, to any skin type. Uh, it's, uh, here it will be more suitable for women who have um, reactive and uh, sensitive skin or irritated skin, um, some, uh, uh, maybe some redness on, on, on their face. Um, it would be also suitable for um, um, someone who would have some uh, um, inflammatory acne, uh, mild inflammatory acne. Corridor oatmeal is a very finely ground um, oat flour. Um, so it's uh, compared to what you could find in, in a food store. This is extremely fine, so fine that when you take it, uh, it, it you barely feel it. Uh, it's very silky, um, and it's a, it's a grade of, uh, of oatmeal that is, um, that is very um, special uh, for, um, for skin care. Uh, it has been used for, uh, for decades now, and it, um, it has uh, the properties to, um, to form a film at the surface of the skin, and that's uh, how it can provide some uh, protective uh, benefits. The primary benefit of uh, corridor oatmeal is um, its uh, moisturization property. And that comes from uh, the combination of different components in, in the oatmeal. Um, so the, on one side the sugar uh, that provide uh, the moisture, uh, the sugar like water, so it will capture the, the water. Um, then you have also some oil, uh, and the oil will um, work as an emollient um, and providing uh, some uh, occlusion uh, on, on the skin. And then you have the proteins, and together between the proteins, the sugar, and the oil, it forms actually a, a film um, that can not only provide the moisture to the skin, but also lock the moisture uh, into the skin. And, um, and that's also uh, coming from, from this film property, uh, not only you get the moisturization, you get also a buffering effect, uh, and that's uh, another property of, uh, of the colloidal oatmeal that can uh, bring the, the pH of the skin to its natural uh, and normal pH, particularly in the cases of a dry, uh, itchy skin uh, where you have usually an elevated pH. Um, another uh, coming again from, from these uh, properties is also its uh, benefit on um, itchy skin um, against poison, uh, poison ivy, poison oak, sumac, uh, insect bites. Um, it's uh, well known to, to provide uh, benefit uh, against those. <laughs>